Hi, a student texted me asking, how do you add two polar vectors? Namely, how do you add a vectors in polar coordinates? This is from a seventh grader text in uh, taking Algebra 2 here at BASIS, Tucson, Arizona. If you want to text your questions in and get answer, you can visit math2tube.com, M-E-T-H, number two, T-U-B-E. All right, let's get started. If you have a two vectors, let's say it's a five at 45 degrees, so the student wants to know, can she add those two vectors, adding five to seven and adding 45 to 30 degrees? The easiest answer to tell you is no. Here's the reason why we can't do that. Let's say you have a vector, let's for the purpose of our illustration here, let's say we have a unit of one here uh, at 90 degrees. Okay, that's vector one. And vector two, let's say we have uh, five units here, uh, this is angle zero. If you were to add those vectors together using this uh, raw method, what you're gonna end up is five, because it's one plus five, an angle of 90 plus zero, which gives you six units at 90 degrees. So your resultant force, uh, the end answer ought to be here, which is not true. Because if we were to draw this one out using the diagram here, this actually will be our resultant force if we were to add a vector one here to the vector two. All right, let's take a closer look. How do we actually do it correctly? So this is not the way to do it, okay? Let's start with uh, giving you two points. Let's say we have two vector here. Vector one has five radical two with uh, 45 degrees and uh, vector two is six units away from the reference point and goes counterclockwise -clock actually, minus 120 degrees, okay? So like we were saying before, that do not add five radical two to six, okay? What you need to do is to break the components down to X and Y components for each one. So what we can do here is actually we can make a table here. Okay, so along X here, along Y axis here, here's our X, here's our Y. Okay, and then for each one of those components, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decompose each one. Okay, back to one here. For the x components for vector one, I'm gonna come down here, this distance, I'm gonna put a wiggly line here. Okay, this distance is really five radical two. Since it's x components, it's cosine of 45 degrees. Okay, you put it in your calculator, you can see this one is usually five units. That's along the x direction. Okay. Similarly, for y components, it's a sine 45 degrees. And when you push into a calculator, you'll see this is five units along y. So what we've done here is we're literally breaking down the components along each orthogonal direction, x and y. So this is two weekly ones. Let's move on to vector two here. I have my color completely opposite over here, so vector two here. So we do the same thing, we have six, okay, cosine of minus 120, and for y over here, we would have sine minus 20. So here's our x and y. Let's see if we can find a green color here. So this is our x components for the vector two, and you can see it in uh, minus three. You can do it on your calculator as well if you want. Check the work. Okay. Here it's gonna be a minus three radical three. Okay, check the work. 
Now, once you convinced the X and Y components are correct, here, then you can add. Okay, we add the components on X, and then we add components on Y. Well, we have our resultant is on the X direction, I will have minus 3 plus 5, that's for the X components, and the Y components, I will have 5 added this component. Okay, so for my R1, I have X, that's 2 units along X axis, and Y, I have 5 minus 3 radical 3. All right. Having found the X components and Y components of the resultant, which is R1, um, you can convert it into the R theta polar re representation. But what I want you to pay attention here is that the key point, okay, let's, let's type it here. So the key point is this. When adding to polar vectors, i.e., um, when you add two vectors that's in the polar coordinates, what you need to do is uh, break each down to x and y components first before adding. All right, have a confident day.